In this video, we will see how to use boundary change assignment in Midas Gen. This tool has been given so that you can have different support conditions for different static cases, static load cases, or even for different types of analysis that you perform. Here in this video, we will see how to apply fixed support condition for static analysis and how to change that support condition to perform the eigenvalue analysis. In this model, I have applied the eigenvalue analysis control and I have applied a default support condition that is fixed. This support is under a default group. Firstly, we will go to the group tab uh, of the tree menu, basically get to the group tree menu and then right click on the boundary group, click on new and you can give it any name. I'll call it here as pinned. Then while we are assigning the new support condition, we will simply change the boundary group name to pinned. This is an important part and then just check on the all to constrain all the translations. Now we will simply select the nodes on which we want to assign the support condition and click on apply. So here we have the support condition, the pin type of support condition under the pinned boundary group name. Any name is fine. Now to change or to assign this support condition to the eigenvalue analysis, we will go to the analysis tab and click on boundary change assignment. Let us check on the support because we have used the groups to assign support condition to our model. So it's uh, the groups are under the supports. Click on the pinned group and put it under a heading. We can have more groups put under one heading and assign them to different types of analysis in the same model file. So we'll click on add replace now and then let us select for the time history or response spectrum or eigenvalue analysis a support condition that is dynamic. So dynamic support condition will be having the pin of group which is nothing but a pin support condition that we have applied to the model. So after this we can click on OK and then go ahead and perform the analysis. From this work stream menu we can find out boundary change assignment has been used for the eigenvalue analysis and what group is also used in that. So this ensures us that the boundary assignment has been applied. One point one two three six is the period of the fundamental mode. If you go ahead and perform the analysis using the fixed support, you will find the period has further reduced. I have done that example and we can see here by using boundary condition change, we got this result. If we hadn't used the boundary condition change, then the fixed support would be applied and the period would be as shown over here. If we apply the pin support only, like removing the fixed support and applying only the pin support, then you can see that the results for the period is same as that for the boundary condition change. This clearly shows that we have successfully modified the fixed support condition to pin support condition for the dynamic analysis.